By using Microsoft Viva Connections, you can create a rich, modern employee experience in Microsoft Teams desktop. Users can discover, share, and search content across the organization. Your SharePoint home site right inside Teams, including company-curated global navigation links along with personalized content like followed sites and recommended news. Modern pages open automatically in Teams, so users never lose context. And they can easily share and search for intranet content in Teams. You provision this version of the Viva Connections app by using PowerShell, and then upload it in the Teams Admin Center and pin it for all users. Future versions will be available in the Teams Admin Center. Before you get started, make sure you're ready. First, Viva Connections requires that you enable global navigation in SharePoint. We also recommend that you use the SharePoint home site and modern sites and pages. The first step is rather simple. Don't let the PowerShell put you off. Before you get started, make sure you download the script and have two image files available. The first is a 192 by 192 icon that users will see in the app catalog and the second is a 32 by 32 monochrome image that they'll see in the Teams app bar. Both are PNG files. When you're ready, run the script to get started. And the first thing it asks for is the URL of the page you want to be the landing page for Viva Connections, preferably a home site. Then sign in by using your SharePoint admin credentials. Of course, the script will validate that you have the required permissions. The name appears in the Teams app bar when you pin the app, and the short description appears in the Teams app catalog with the long description. Provide all three bits of information, and you're well on your way to finishing. Next, provide the URL of your privacy policy page, or you can just press Enter to use the default Microsoft privacy page. Likewise, type the URL of your terms of use, or press Enter to use the default SharePoint terms of use agreement. You also need to provide the name of your organization and the URL of the organization's public-facing website. Both items appear in the Created By section of the app's page in the Teams app catalog. The last two items are the images. The first is the large image for the app catalog, and the second is the small monochrome image for the Teams app bar. After uploading the second image, the script automatically creates the package file and downloads it to your desktop. To make the app available to users, you must upload it in the Teams Admin Center. In the nav bar, select Manage Apps under Teams Apps. Then select Upload and open the package file from your desktop. By uploading the app, you've made it available for users to install and pin. But given the importance of this app, we recommend that you pin it by using a setup policy. For the same reason, I'll add it to the existing global policy to pin it for all users. You could also create a custom policy to pin the app. Look under the Pinned Apps section and select Add Apps to get started. Then, search for and add the new app to the list of apps you want to pin. And, select Add at the bottom of the Add Pinned Apps pane to finish. Like I mentioned, this is my organization's home in Teams, so I want this to appear at the very top of the Pinned Apps. Just arrange the apps in the order you want them to appear and save your work. While you're done with the technical work, there's one more step. Help your users get on board. To help with that, you can share our end user tutorial with them to get them excited. There's a video on the page too that gives them a quick 60 second tour of Viva Connections. Viva Connections in Teams Desktop offers everyone the power to succeed. To learn more about Viva Connections, see our documentation on Microsoft Docs.